Hello, good people, and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. One of the common charts in Excel is the pie chart. However, if you use the pie chart to plot a lot of series, it can get cluttered. There's an option to use a bar of pie chart to declutter it. In this short video, we are going to learn how to do this in five minutes in Excel. So join me in Excel and let's go through this together. So here is my sample data, uh, sales for some branches. And in this data block, I can stand in any cell and press Alt F1. So Alt F1 would insert my default chart. My default chart for this workbook is a column chart. Of course, you can select this and then go to the chart design and under chain chart type, you click and you have options here. So for this purpose, we are going to choose the default pie chart and then see what we get. So if I insert a pie chart, this is what I get. And I want to add the data labels. So using the plus sign here, I'll hit the plus sign and go into the data label options using this arrow. Go to more options. And then in the option, I want to show category name and just the percentage. Okay, so while you are here, you could also use the label position to fit it in the way that would make it easier to read. So let's choose outside end. Now, after doing this, you observe that the branches that have less than 10% are struggling for space. Okay, so this is a typical situation where you plot a lot of series in a pie chart. Even if I delete the chart title, over here, I still cannot see the branches that are under 10%. So a better way to do this is to use the bar of pie chart. So select the chart, go back to change chart type, and in the pie chart series, you can now use bar of pie. So when you select bar of pie, what it does is that it seeds some of the series into a separate bar chart on the side. Now, let's see how to properly set this. It is always good to sort your data or your values in descending order if you want to use this. So I will stand here, go to data, and in the sort and filter group, I will sort this by Z to A. So I have the highest sales on top all the way down to the least. Now, what we have here is that some of the branches are in the bar chart. You can select the pie chart and then you press Control-1. So Control-1 allows you to format the chart. Now there are options here. So instead of the chart options, we'll drop this and then we are going to format the series. So when you change this to series options and you use the series options here, you now see this option of split series by position. So by default, it splits the series by the position of the values. So as you can see here, my bottom four is what I have in this separate bar chart. Of course, you can change this by increasing it to five. So what it means is that my bottom five would be plotted in the bar chart on the side. Okay. While we are here, you can also select the labels okay, and press Control-1 and then you can also use a comma separator so that you can have more space around this. Okay. So by using this option of splitting the bottom five into a separate bar chart, I can now see clearly those who are under 10%. Okay. There are other options. So I can select the charts here, go back control one, change this chart options to series. And then in the series options, have this option back. So instead of splitting it by position, you can also split by value. So this allows you to enter a certain value. So you can say that all values that are less than, let's say 200,000, okay, and go into this separate bar chart. And I have something like this. Okay. You could also do by percentage value and then let's say you put in those under 
you have the same result. You can also do custom. So in custom, what you need to do is that you select that particular series and then let's say you want to get it into the main plot, so the first plot. So I've selected Kumase, I can say that Kumase should go into the first plot and it goes into the first plot. Okay, so you have all these options to split your data. Let's go back to position and maintain five. One visual effect you can use is that while you've split your data by position, you can select the part that splits the data. So I have selected other, okay? And then increase the point explosion a bit. Okay, so let's say I give it about 10%. So when I do this, then anybody who is reading this would know that I am now expanding this into this bar chart. So there's no need to get your pie chart cluttered. You can use the bar of pie chart to present something like this to make it easier for your readers. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list. We'll send videos directly to you twice a week. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Close Up. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos, or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.